What's up, everybody? So we have an injury update for the first time in a very long time. Throughout the season, there's way more injury update videos with all the injury reports throughout the week as we prepare for every single game. But the offseason, obviously, no one's playing, so no one's really typically getting hurt. But we do have some updates on Rashawn Gary, who suffered a torn ACL in Week 9, and then also Eric Stokes, who suffered a ankle injury in the game against the Lions Week 9 as well. And so it came out from Bill Huber yesterday of Sports Illustrated here. In an article, he said this, according to a source, Gary is progressing well and is ahead of schedule. His goal is to be ready by opening day. He is anxious to get back on the field and help his team advance to a championship. So, luckily, it sounds like there is a chance that he could start on the first game of the 2023 season, which would mark about 10 months from his initial um, day of suffering his injury. Obviously, us Packers fans have experienced um, you know, David Bautiari's injury over the past couple of years, sort of having expectations of maybe he'll start, maybe he'll be ready week one. That didn't happen for him. And I think with these kind of injuries, especially serious injuries like an ACL injury, you just never know exactly the timetable for every single individual. And it's great to hear that there's a chance and he expects to be ready on week in week one. But that's obviously something we'll have to wait and sort of see how things develop and really see if that could happen. But it seems, according to a source, that he is progressing well, which is good. Great to hear. Hope he's going through that recovery well. And obviously, I hope he is ready week one because this Packers defense needs Rashawn Gary. He is one of the best edge rushers in the NFL. And not having him hurt this Packers defense as we finished off the season. Because I think we went somewhere. I'm trying to remember the stat I read a few months or a month or, month or so ago. I think with him, we were like second in pressure rate. And then when he went out, we went to like 28th. So clearly having him there, he's probably one of the best, if not the best player on this Packers defense. So it's great to hear he's doing well. And it seems like there's a chance he starts week one, which is awesome to hear. And then now to Eric Stokes' ankle injury. This is also from a the same Bill Huber Sports Illustrated article yesterday. He said this, Eric has had zero setbacks and is ahead of schedule. A source said he plans to be in Green Bay for the offseason program to continue his rehab and training. There is no set timetable for him to be back at 100%, but he is not expected to miss any portion of camp. So it doesn't sound like he should miss. I'm guessing they mean training camp. Maybe he'll be ready and be healthier way before then, I would expect, but we'll see there. He did miss a good amount of games last season, and it'll be great to fully have that cornerback room fully healthy with Eric Stokes, Rasul Douglas, Jair Alexander. But those are the two updates on these players who had some pretty serious injuries last season. If you haven't subscribed, you want to stay up to date with all Packers news. That's what this channel is for, Packers news updates, all that stuff. So feel free to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.